bombshell, North Korea has horrifying new weapon far worse than nukes. After eight years of Obama, our enemies have gotten stronger. They are now dabbling with new technology to harm Americans. North Korea now has the ability to knock out our electronic grid and render our cell phones useless with EMP technology. Luckily, our American entrepreneurs have created and are selling the Tech Safe Box, which is capable of protecting our electronics in the event of any attack, even a nuclear detonation. Via WND. Patriots, we may be going to war with North Korea soon. I hate to say it, because it would be a tragedy to waste good American lives on this spoiled little brat dictator, but that is the world we live in now since Obama's America. If the North Koreans do attack us, we will need the tech safe box, so that we can stay in touch with our loved ones. Trust me, the first thing the North Koreans are going to do is attack our communication technology. They will try to divide us, and they will rely on the resulting panic to launch attacks against us. With the tech safe box, we cannot smart these North Korean fools. With Trump in office, any war launched against the North Koreans would be short. We have the greatest military in the world. Obama was so quick to weaken our stance around the world. If it were not for Obama, we would not have to deal with this North Korean problem. Meanwhile, the Middle East is falling apart, another Obama failure. Where is the accountability? Why isn't the mainstream media being honest about Obama's failures? The answer is obvious. The mainstream media is corrupt and controlled by the fascist left. At least we have Trump to call a spade a spade. The mainstream media is fake news. However, the real news is that North Korea is coming after us. They want to see America reduced to ashes. I am just grateful we have the greatest industry in the world. We have brilliant inventors creating technology like the Tech Safe Box. With a well armed populace and the Tech Safe Box, we can keep our country safe from these North Korean invaders and we will be able to push back against the inevitable chaos. It is reassuring to know that there are businesses out there that care about the American people. With technology like the Tech Safe Box, we won't have to worry about being alone if there should be an attack. What do you think about North Korea's horrifying new weapon? Share this article on Facebook and let us know what you think because we want to hear your voice. Breaking, Trump just blew up Common Core. The left has infected our education with the Common Core, but we have Donald Trump to cure that disease. We can always rely on Trump to hire competent officials. On Monday, Trump's Secretary of Education, Betsy DeVoe, announced that, there isn't really any Common Core anymore, and each state is able to set the standards for their state. Via the Washington Times. DeVoe's department is utilizing the Every Student Succeeds Act to dismantle the vile Common Core. Now, states are finally free set the standards for their own schools. What a relief. This must drive liberals crazy. The left love the Common Core because it allowed them to indoctrinate our youth. We should be very grateful that Trump is eliminating this nonsense. The Common Core is nothing but trouble. We need to keep conservatives in office, because if we don't, then the liberals will quickly create an even worse Common Core. Our education system has gotten so bad that there are now professors pushing politics onto young minds. All you have to do is look at Antifa. The Antifa group is promoted by a middle school teacher, Yvette Vilrica, and has violent college professors, like Eric Clanton, in their ranks. We can thank the liberals and their common core for those two winners. We need to hold our schools more accountable for their teachers and professors. We cannot let these immoral people influence our children. There was once a time in this country where education was valuable. Thanks to the radical left, the quality of our education has declined. The mainstream media loves to defend our education system. The media never reports on the ridiculous degrees offered, like gender studies. We need to reevaluate our colleges. Unfortunately, not only children suffer for our bad education. We all suffer. The children are the future of this country, and they are being misled by a group of leftist terrorists. What do you think about Betsy DeVoe's announcement? Share this article on Facebook and let us know what you think because we want to hear your voice. Your voice, alert, most popular chip brand in US just issued huge warning, 
do not eat and throw away now. In a shocking alert that was issued overnight, one of the country's most loved chip brands issued an alarming warning about their most popular products that are currently being sold in stores everywhere. The major concern is that these chips are in millions of Americans' homes right now and for some who already opened the bag, it could be too late. Here's what you need to know. Before you grab a handful of savory chips to snack on today, you need to check to see if your flavor of choice is one that Frito-Hole is saying to throw away immediately. Avoid consuming them at all costs as the warning out now is that people are at huge risk of becoming violently ill from this salty snack. This is a health hazard situation where there is a reasonable probability that the use of the product can cause serious, adverse health consequences, America's Freedom Fighters reported. The chips are affected by a bacteria no commonly associated with dry goods, as it's typically a concern among raw meat. However, Frito-Lay is alerting customers to the risk of salmonella poisoning in the seasoning on jalapeno-flavored Lay's kettle-cooked potato chips and jalapeno-flavored Miss Vicky's kettle-cooked potato chips. Here are the following symptoms to be aware of if these chips have recently been consumed. According to WebMD, people infected with the bacteria may have nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, sometimes with fever. Other symptoms may include headache, abdominal cramps, and loss of appetite. These symptoms usually start within 12 to 72 hours after infection. They last for 4 to 7 days. If you or a loved one experiences any of these symptoms, it's crucial that you seek medical attention immediately. Waiting it out will only amplify the infection and make it more difficult to treat. The risk of salmonella is exclusive to these two specific chips noted above, no other flavors or varieties are part of this recall. The infected seasoning wasn't produced by Frito-Lay, rather it came from a third-party distributor who provides it for the chip company. It's unknown how many bags were affected, however, the decision to issue a nationwide recall was done so as a responsible safety precaution on Frito-Lay's part to protect their valued customers. Below is Frito-Lay's official recall notice for immediate release from the FDA. April 21, 2017 Frito-Lay today announced it is voluntarily recalling select jalapeno-flavored Lay's kettle-cooked potato chips and jalapeno-flavored Miss Vicky's kettle-cooked potato chips due to the potential presence of salmonella in the seasoning. Salmonella is an organism which can cause serious and sometimes fatal infections in young children, frail or elderly people, and others with weakened immune systems. Healthy persons infected with salmonella often experience fever, diarrhea, which may be bloody, nausea, vomiting and abdominal pain. In rare circumstances, infection with salmonella can result in the organism getting into the bloodstream and producing more severe illnesses such as arterial infections, that is, infected aneurysms, endocarditis and arthritis. This action is the direct result of a supplier's recent recall of a seasoning blend which includes jalapeno powder that could contain salmonella. Although no salmonella was found in the seasoning supplied to Frito-Lay, the company has decided to recall these products out of an abundance of caution. No illness related to this matter has been confirmed to date. The products covered by this recall were distributed in retail stores and via food service, vending and other channels throughout the U.S. The specific recalled product information is listed below. All sizes of the following two products that have a guaranteed fresh date of July 4th or prior printed on the front upper panel of the package. Jalapeno Flavored Lay's Kettle Cooked Potato Chips Jalapeno Flavored Miss Vicky's Kettle Cooked Potato Chips All of the following multi-pack offerings that have a use by date of June 20th or prior printed on the multi-pack package. In addition, a guaranteed fresh date of July 4th or prior is printed on the front upper panel of the individual recalled product packages inside each multi-pack offering. Any other products or flavors contained in these multi-packs are not being recalled. 12 Count Lay's Kettle Cooked Multi-Pack Sack 20 Count Frito-Lay Build Mix Sack 30 Count Miss Vicky's Multi-Pack Dray 30 Count Lay's Kettle Cooked Multi-Pack Dray 32 Count Miss Vicky's Multi-Pack Box No other flavors of Lay's Kettle Cooked Potato Chips or Miss Vicky's Potato Chips are impacted or being recalled.
Jalapeno cheddar flavored lace kettle cooked 40% less fat potato chips are not impacted or being recalled. Consumers who have purchased these recalled products are advised not to consume them. Frito-Lay is working with the FDA on this recall to ensure the recalled products are removed from store shelves and are no longer distributed. Consumers can contact Frito-Lay Consumer Relations at 866-272-9393 for additional information from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. EST. Representative product images can be found at Frito-Lay.com. For product reimbursement, consumers can visit www.jalapenochiproca.com. We urge you to share this with those you love TP get the word out. Chances are, someone you know and care about has this product in their home. In their home, breaking, Trump just deployed a nuclear submarine after emergency WH meeting. Here's where it's headed. Several days ago. President Trump received an urgent warning that Kim Jong-un was in the final stages of preparing a nuclear strike on the United States. As many have scoffed in recent weeks about the military capability of North Korea, the White House began looking at satellite imagery, which revealed an increased level of activity at the country's nuclear sites, prompting the president to take immediate action in the wake of Kim Jong-un's continued threats with his intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBM pointed at the untied states. On Monday, President Trump held a doomsday emergency meeting with 100 senators, where he publicly stated that we can no longer ignore the threat that North Korea poses to the rest of the world. Now it appears as though the United States might be closer than ever to declaring war on North Korea, after breaking reports reveal the latest arsenal that President Trump has just deployed to the Korean Peninsula overnight. In a massive power move to Kim Jong-un to back the hell off, we have now parked a badass nuclear-powered submarine right in his backyard. President Trump spoke of his recent decisions, telling ambassadors at a White House gathering. The council must be prepared to impose additional and stronger sanctions on North Korean nuclear and ballistic missile programs. This is a real threat to the world, whether we want to talk about it or not. North Korea is a big world problem and it's a problem that we have to finally solve. In the event that the chubby dictator decides to cash in on his threats, the USS Michigan could launch missiles that would completely decimate his forces. While some people are calling the port call routine, officials quietly told CNN that the timing is not a coincidence, as it's more important than ever for the untied states to scare our enemies back into submission before they get too cute. Conservative Tribune has more. As tensions on the Korean Peninsula have increased over North Korea's nuclear weapons and missile tests, the United States recently made a massive power move by sending a nuclear-powered submarine into the region. The USS Mi
Fucking speak!